Hey everyone, Jay from Digiboard Games here. Today we're having a look at Kahuna by Cosmos, and this is brought to us by USM, um, the guys who also brought us Catan for iOS. Kahuna is a tactical game for players with a keen eye and a good memory. The background story is quickly told. Two Kahuna priests on an island group want to find out who of them is the mightiest. For this reason, they have started a magical contest in which the player who succeeds to subdue most of the 12 isles to his will is the winner. At the beginning of the game, a set of 24 playing cards are mixed. For each of the 12 isles exists two cards. Then each player receives a hand of three cards. The rest are placed next to the game board to form the drawing pile. But three of these cards are turned around and also placed for drawing. On your turn, a player may opt to play none, one, or more of the cards from his hand. For each aisle he plays, he may put a magical token on one of the pathways which connect this aisle to some others. All aisles have at least three pathways to other aisles, and some have even up to six of these paths. Whenever a player succeeds to have tokens on a majority of the paths leading from an aisle, he is allowed to put a token of his color onto the aisle to show that the aisle has been subdued by him. After this, the player may draw one card from the drawing pile or from the open cards, regardless whether he has played a card or not. He may have a maximum of five cards in his hand at a time. If a player has drawn an open card, he must turn one of the cards over from the deck to replace the card that he has taken. The game continues until all cards have been drawn. Then the player who has subdued the majority of the aisles at this moment receives one victory point. The game continues until the drawing cards have been used up for the second time. Now the player with the most aisles gets two victory points. Again, the game continues until the cards have been used up a final time. And now the player who has the most aisles gets as many victory points as he has more aisles than his opponent. The player who has the most victory points after these three rounds wins the game. All right, now that I've showed you guys how the game plays, I'll show you a few of the options built into the game. So you have your rules screen, which pretty much does exactly what I just did for you in the first two minutes of this video. It walks you through all the basic need to know steps of how to play this game. Um, and then you have the online multiplayer. Um, here's your breakdown on um, who's leading the leaderboards, and that sort of thing if you're into that that type of leaderboard challenge kinda like oh I gotta beat my friends that's a great way to stay on top they've really incorporated Game Center well into this game um, and then the online multiplayer it's a bit of a hassle that you kinda have to wait for your turn it's not as fun as it should be um, it's great I've played one game with a friend and you know the it, it feels like a pass and play so that's all right. I would prefer it if they had a little bit um, like a device device connection so I could play against a friend who's sitting across the table from me. But other than that, this app is really cool. Um, they really did a good job on bringing this board game to life for the iPad and I couldn't be happier with how they presented it. Um, I'm going to rate this 4 out of 5 just for the simple fact of it's presentation is there, the mechanics are great, the single player is an absolute blast to play, but they are lacking in the multiplayer aspect. Other than that, it's a really great game. If you like strategy board games that are real, like mind benders, and you know, they really need some thought, this is definitely the game for you. Alright, thanks for stopping by. If you found this review helpful in any way whatsoever, please like and subscribe here on YouTube. As well, you can like us on Facebook and on Twitter. 
And of course, you can check out digiboardgames.com for all the newest board game, digital board game news, reviews, and previews. All right, thanks for stopping by.